common. Yeah. Uh, I will not go deep about that, but I wanted to show guys it was about me mainly, like the verses. Yeah. They are mainly about me. You are doing what, what's it called? More of like an, an anecdote or an analogy, giving comparisons. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, something so, yeah, like that. Projecting them into him and then him into you. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh -huh, that's it. And for Bobby Wine, I mentioned some of the lines. He, some of the lines Bobby Wine uses, like in his songs. You had up Ladies Wine, all oh, that, just to relate about Bobby Wine. And, the feeling for me, I think Bobby Wine's standing for that uh, MP stuff. I, I feel like it killed the song in a way because it didn't get like airplane mob radios. Guys thought it was more of like a celebration, a campaign, no, a campaign song. Guys think it was a campaign song, but I met Bobby Wine and I wanted Bobby Wine to do outro for me on that song. That's why I met him and I wanted him to approve it because I used his name. You understand? Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. So when I dropped it, mob guys thought it was a campaign song, but it was not a campaign song. Well, but nonetheless, it, but it was doing more than what would be imagined. For real, it's a good song. It moved a lot. Yeah, guys loved it. And that's like that's a taste of cash crop. That's a taste of cash. It was the <laughs> yeah, second single. Yeah, that's a taste of cash crop.